introduced to you something called collarbone breathing. I learned this when I took a class in thought field therapy in 2001, and again when I took a class at Scripps Clinic with Dr. George Pratt and Peter Lambrow. They typically only use this when they feel there are no results from emotional freedom techniques or energy psychology. I, however, have been using it whenever I feel that the person is completely out of balance. I use it intuitively or if the person is extremely sick. I also am guided quite often through the body talk system to have this tool used. So collarbone breathing, it's kind of complicated, so pay attention, follow along with me. The first thing you need to do is to put your thumb inside the palm of your hand and place the fingers of your hand under the collarbone at the K27 point, right over here. That's the first step. Then what you do is you begin tapping right here, right below the knuckles, continuously through the whole procedure. You use as many fingers as you have so that you know you're hitting the right spot. Okay, so now you have your hand placement and you're tapping and now comes the breathing. The breathing goes like this. You take a deep breath and hold. You exhale half the breath and hold. Exhale completely, forcefully. Inhale half a breath. And now, breathe normally. Move your hand over to the other side, and it doesn't matter which order you do this in, just as long as you do all four. Take a deep breath and hold. Exhale half a breath and hold. Exhale completely and hold. Inhale half a breath and hold. And now just breathe normally. Now you make a fist, keeping your thumb inside and place it on your collarbone. Take a deep breath and hold while you're tapping. Exhale half a breath and hold. Exhale completely and hold. Inhale half a breath. Breathe normally. Moving over to the other side, take a deep breath and hold. Exhale, half a breath and hold. Exhale completely. Inhale, half a breath. Breathe normally. Now we're going to reverse the hand. You're going to take your other hand and put it underneath your thumb inside and put it underneath your collarbone and we'll start all over again. Take a deep, continue to tap on the gamut spot. Take a deep breath and hold. Exhale, half a breath and hold. Exhale, completely and hold. Inhale, half a breath and hold. Now breathe normally. Okay, now we're moving over to the other side. Take a deep breath and hold. Exhale, half a breath and hold. Exhale, completely and hold. Inhale, half a breath and hold. Breathe normally. Make your fist again. Put it underneath your collarbone. Take a deep breath and hold. Exhale, half a breath and hold. Exhale, completely and hold. Inhale, half a breath. And now, breathe normally. The last position, take a deep breath and hold. Exhale, half a breath and hold. Exhale, completely and hold. Inhale, half a breath. And now breathe normally. It was a little complicated, so you might need to do it with me once or twice. But if you're chronically ill, this really reverses the polarity for several hours. The more you do it, the more likely your body will go into proper polarity permanently. And I personally believe if you're a light worker or if you're a healer, you can get thrown off quite easily, and this is always a great way to rebalance.